day, midsommardagen, and I'm in Havre, which is pretty much in the middle of Sweden. And it's a little island which has a very, very rich tradition of music in Medelbad. Also very rich history. I've just learned yesterday that there had been like lots of battles and everything between Sweden and Norway. So very interesting area, not super well known apparently. And the reason I'm recording now is because there is one of my absolute favorite tunes that is from here, Schottis from Havre. And this tune is like one of the rockiest Rockiest? Rockiest? Rockiest tunes ever. Let's go for the A part. A little bit slower. if you can have a little higher F. A little bit higher is very nice because music here is uh, quite blue. It's played sometimes on uh, folk flutes or on fiddles mostly. Uh, on Nika Harpa you can tune up maybe a little bit to have a higher F, which is very nice. B part. that you can do when you repeat the B part which is very nice also this tune in general you can rock it really uh, hard I personally really like to have the backbeat that is extremely strong and also to do a bit of like how, how is it called uh, when you take a note a bit before, right now I'm completely forgetting the word, but I'm showing. Something like this. Also one thing that is really nice with this tune is if you want to put chops and so on as I did in the beginning, uh, so you can really easily have one, for example, here. If you are like practicing your chops and try to include them more in your music, that's the perfect tune to have fun with this. So I hope you like this tune. Here it's midsummer. It's really a nice place. And that's it for me today. I hope you will have fun learning this tune. And see you soon. Hey, Dora.